my grandma died. We stayed at the house the Navy gave Grandpa for the last time, cause with both dead, the house goes to another Navy veteran. I slept alone in Uncle's old bedroom. I played games on my phone until the sleepiness kicks in. 3 a.m. I woke up. I need to pee. I go to the bathroom, which is located in a dark corridor that leads to the garage, first having to pass the large family and TV room, pass Grandpa's old study room, the dining room, and the kitchen. Yes, it's really that big. In front of the door to the garage is the old maid room, now uninhabited. As I do my business, I hear humming from the old maid's room. It sounded familiar somewhat. I'm creeped out, so I quickly finish my business and embark towards my room. But something stops me dead in my tracks as the humming grew louder. It wasn't coming from the maid room. No, it was coming from the TV room. It was Grandma. She's sitting leisurely on the couch, watching static on TV. She's still wearing the hospital clothes she died in. Her corpse was just transported to the morgue. She stared at me, smiled, and walked away. No, she didn't float nor vanish. She walked, turning to the guest room, and God knows where. That's it. She's gone. The last time I slept on one bed with my mom was when I was eight. At 16 years old, I snuck into her bed and stayed awake until morning. I'm not sure if this is the scariest one, but it's for sure the most disturbing one for me. So, this is from the time when I was very young, and I don't exactly remember at what age, but probably around 12 or so. Now, sometimes when there is no electricity for long hours, so we either sit outside our home or on the rooftops, right? Same thing happened on one summer night. We were all sitting outside. Note that there is a big long balcony which leads to the main door of our house. And we were living in an apartment on third floor. Around 11 p.m., we decided to sleep right there in our balcony. But my mom and my brother were not sleepy, and were still inside doing some stuff. I don't exactly remember for how long they were inside, but me and my father dozed off right there. A few moments later, I heard this loud scream, or more like someone shouting for help. I saw my father sleeping, and I wanted to wake him up. But for some reason, I didn't. I don't know why. Then I think I too dozed off, and again in the midnight, I woke up with the same loud scream. It sounded like a male just saying. And this went on for whole night. He kept shouting, and it felt like he was going far, then coming close, as if he was running or walking. I don't know. Now I don't remember whether my mom and brother slept inside or were sleeping out with us. But the whole night, I heard this person and wasn't able to sleep. I remember that this wasn't any dream, and there was no news of any incident next day. But I didn't told anyone. Although now that I'm 18 years old, I once told my brother recently about the incident, and he can't recall anything from the night. Of course, according to him, if there was no news, then it was probably my dream, or I was just half asleep. But trust me, every time I remember that night, it gives me goosebumps, and I wish I knew if it was real. Like you know how sometimes you have some memories, but you can't recall whether it's from your dream or reality. Same. See you guys soon with my next video. Make sure to subscribe, and you guys, and also be a part of my videos by sharing your stories. Email is in the description box, and you can also send your stories on Instagram given below.